there is a really really cool story about this sign you're gonna have to watch the full episode how are you hey pretty good i'm Let's on go. video uh -oh. yes you are i'll yes, be famous you someday you're gonna be famous someday How old yeah. is it? This is from like what? 60s. 60s? 60s yeah. That old? Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's what I thought. All parts are there, everything yeah. is there. It's got the original manual too. Extra lenses, original manual. Kid moved out, you don't want it anymore. 1967. Uh-huh. Pretty cool. Right? Just like a, a brass and blown glass lamp. Did you find anything? I found some. Uh -huh. um, I and I was looking up the name on the switch, but my buddy was telling me that this is the name of the company. Well, actually, uh, this Leviation, uh -huh. that's uh, United Labs. That's only electrical. Yeah. And. That's like the company, uh, the Light and Shade, it's Lighthouse Lamp and Shade Company, I believe is what it says. Something international, hard to read. Yeah, yeah. but it is a cool piece. I don't know, I just figured you might, you guys Looking might by be the plug, interested it's in. probably 60s. Yeah, that's what I was guessing. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I didn't know if you guys would be interested in it. I picked up that at a garage sale because I collect vintage, um, what do you call it? Um, cans? Not cans, but anything. Um, I collect bottles, vintage. Uh, vintage signs and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. logos mm -hmm. and stuff. And then I got these glass figurines. I thought they were cool. My wife actually collects glass stuff, so I, I might keep them for myself, but I figured since I'm here, I'd let you see them. I don't think that one's really worth anything. The dolphin, yeah. I see a lot of them. This is the, this kind of Murano stuff, you know. I mean, it's it's well, not it's, worth. It's hard sell for us, right? And yeah. We don't want to deal with this. Obviously. No. Remember, we had one shelf full. It took us forever to sell. Yeah. This is the cooler uh, looking one, but like I said, my wife's got a glass yeah. collection, so I I probably just keep them. Um, um, yeah, they're very cool. Yeah, there, I would be no scared markings. to death to ship them actually. Right, know? exactly. Because it would be it have to be a local sale. That's why I, my buddy told me to mark them on eBay, and I'm like, I yeah. would really not want to ship them. Scary. I mean, that, not that it's not doable. I mean, you got to wrap it, you know, 20 yeah. times in a bubble wrap, yeah. double box it, and hope yeah. it gets there in one piece. Right, yeah. right. But, but uh, I think on these, I'm gonna have to say no. That, that's fine. And, and and this guy too, I'm gonna pass on it too. We that's got cool. quite a few boxes in the back, different ones that have been here for a long time. But this, it's intriguing. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting. What do you want to get out of it? I mean, any idea? I don't know. I mean, the, some that I saw. Um. Well, let's see if I can't pull it up. I don't know, these are what people were asking, I believe. I don't know if these were sold. Yeah, I mean, you know, they can be asking anything they want. Right, we always exactly. try to look at, like, you know, completed Complete, listings. Yeah, so let me see I usually... if I can pull anything up. I mean, this is pretty actually popular. They're, they were yeah. very, very common back in the day. But they're starting to come um, back around for what people want to... So let's see if we can find anything. Oh, yeah, no problem. I mean, I've got 30 into it. I bought it at a garage sale from a lady. I just thought it was yeah. pretty cool. So look, like here's a little bit different shape, obviously. Yeah, but you close know? to the same. Right. Yeah. 1971, mid-century. Um, is that completed then? That's complete. That's okay. sold yesterday. And see, uh, I was. 49.99. Let's see if we can find anything else. I was seeing anywhere from 50 bucks up to 100 bucks for stuff kind of like this, but. I think some of them that I saw were not completed. I see here's another one, a hanging one, so it's opposite, you know. Yeah, see this is not completed. Yeah. And they're asking, you know, a hundred. Right. I figured it was kind of similar to the Yeah. So to this the one look. sold for ninety here. Right there. Well. Yeah, and this one they're asking eighty. It, yeah. it hasn't sold yet, but it's yeah. pretty similar to the 
Look at this one here. Oh yeah, that one's Sold pretty cool. For 55 bucks. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna look around some. I might be interested in maybe trading you. Sure, sure. You know. Yeah, look around to see if anything catches your eye. Right. You guys always got a bunch of cool stuff that I'm interested in. So I don't know. Maybe we'll do a trade, or maybe if you wanted to offer some cash. I mean. Sure. Whatever. Uh, whatever. We'll work it out. Yeah. So I end up trading <clears throat> for this lamp. I trade the guy a knife, a uh, $20 knife. I think we can get 50, 60 bucks out of this lamp. It's in really, really good condition. Definitely 1950s, maybe early 60s. I have a question. If I sold an item and someone Paid with PayPal. Pay with PayPal through e you know, buy it through eBay, pay with PayPal. But they came in to me and they picked the item up. So I didn't ship this. I only marked that it's shipped, but I'm not uploading tracking number. Now is this gonna count against me? With no tracking number. Adrian is very upset. No. But we're not gonna get into it. He just got off the phone with eBay. I'm not very upset, it is... I want you to film something. I just came back, guys, from, uh, from a very cool pick. The guy is local here. He's been a viewer of my channel for about a year now. He invited me to his house because his father passed away quite a few years ago and they have a ton of stuff that they wanted to get rid of. But very interesting things. I still don't know how we're going to approach it as far as selling it. There is a lot of it. I picked up a little bit of it. Uh, I will not discuss pricing because he asked me not to, but I'll definitely show you guys later when the stuff sells what it's sold for. You want to film, Agent? He hasn't even seen it yet what I brought, so. Let's see. So, of course, right away you can see the. I sold the uh, yeah, pretty rough. He actually took this sign off in 1971 in Florida of the hardware store that was going out of business. Uh, it's what it's cool. It's super heavy because, of course, it's double-sided porcelain. By any means, it's in a nice condition. It is rough, uh, but very cool piece. It's big. It's about five feet wide and about three feet tall. So that would be a nice thing. Yeah, but, but looking by the by the by the face, I'm assuming it's about 35 pounds. It's about what? Looking on your face when you lift this, it's about 35 pounds. Probably about 40, 50. Yeah, about 40 pounds. You're right. Yeah, it's heavy. Um, so hard to put the year on it. He took it down in 1971. He said, but. Who knows how long it's been hanging, so probably from 50s, 60s. But what we got here, and actually it's a small percentage what I took. Well, no, good percentage of stuff that I took. These are all in boxes, and we got nine of these boxes loaded with slides. What's on the slides? He, he was... Um, a doctor on a Navy ship for 14 years. He traveled the world in 1950s and early 60s. All these are like this box is from 1963. Uh, they all have description when it was taken sorting craps 1964 um, and you can see well, obviously you're not gonna see through here. Look, some kind of port somewhere in Louisiana. So it's pretty cool, there's a lot of them. I mean, each box holds 1,600 slides. It's kind of crazy how many we got here. We got eight boxes, it's thousands and thousands of, uh, of slides. And then we got these boxes. I think each of these boxes holds about 500. And the best part, they are all labeled. 
track of GNBL RL Silver Pennsylvania. Uh, so a lot of stuff is from his era when he was servicing and also a lot of stuff like vacation slides and things. Just kind of crazy stuff. But what I want to show you guys, and there's also like eight millimeter, eight reel to reel stuff. Oh, Ronnie, this one is for you. Saguenay River trip at Cape Cod, 1944. Mm. So, pretty exciting what's in here. But, there's a couple pieces of clothing. This was actually his, uh, Jay Brayton was his name. That was his dad from high school. This is actually a football jersey. And he said he finished high school, I think in 1945 or 42, something like that, doing World War II. Um, made in Chicago, size 46. Just pretty unique, you know, all original. This is another, it's kind of like a sweater. I don't know if it was for a track and field or made by McMullen in Indiana, Athletic Goose. But these, a lot of work to put these out, you know. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna sell them as lots or indiv individually, it will be almost impossible. It's just way too much work. But it's thousands and thousands of freaking slides and you know people like that stuff so all numbered all with the dates all with the description and the boxes are in great condition just a unique 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 very unique stuff to 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 have in your possession now it's just the tip of an iceberg what he has there games from 1950s still sealed slot machines all kinds of stuff i mean lots lots of coca-cola stuff all original you know from 1950s and 60s so it would be very interesting for us to go through all this stuff now this is the first load that i picked up there's probably going to be 10 more loads from him you know of different stuff he also has a ton of camera equipment from back in the day a lot of different things so we'll see what happens uh, Definitely lots of history here. How much money to be made? Hard to say. Really hard to say. And this is not gonna sell overnight, you know? Yeah, it's gonna take time. It's gonna take time. So I just wanted to share that. You you don't you don't seem very excited. For me? Yeah. I'm just smoking my cigar. Relax. Adrian is like yeah, whatever. I got my cigar in my hand. I don't care. No, but it's cool. It's different, you know. It's sure. cool. Just question is, how long is going? Ronnie, to what do you think I can, what I can do on this sign? It's pretty beat up. Um, on both sides, quite a few rust spots, but overall good size, porcelain. It's got some age to it. Whoa! Let me know, Ronnie. Put it in the comments. So from the same guy that I got all the slides and a coke sign, I also got this single malt scotch whiskey as a gift. He gave it to me. Um, now his dad got this on a cruise ship in early 1970s somewhere. And it was already 12 years old. So I got a scotch that it's 50 years old. Man, I would love to open this thing. It's gonna have to be a special occasion.
These are the most popular. These are fishing uh, scales, portable, up to 50 pounds. Uh, shows pounds and ounces on it. If you guys have awkward items that you want to ship and you want to quickly figure out uh, the weight for shipping, this is a great item to have around. For example, this lamp that I just bought, if I wanted to find out exactly, it's so awkward to put it on a scale, it doesn't fit. Fourteen point six ounces. Fourteen point six. Um, bikes, you know, the, um, the weird stuff, big and bulky that you can't fit it on a sca scale, quick way. And these are relatively cheap. You can buy these even brand new for like twenty bucks. You can find them at the garage sales, used for a few dollars. Worth having it. Mm -hmm. If not, then we'll buy one. I think cheap I, I, I feel like I have one. Yeah. If I, I'll look tonight. Okay. I have a feeling if it's anywhere, where. Because I'm thinking, I want to go through some of them, look at them, yeah. and if there's some interesting stuff on them, mm -hmm. might as well get it. Nick's ass over here and have him start <laughs> listing. Yeah. Because when you think about it, if he can do, I don't know. Yeah. Five, six an hour. If we pick some interesting. Mm -hmm. Things if we can sell them for ten bucks a pop. Yeah. Sure. Pick ten thousand the of them there. Let's say only ten percent would be good. Even a hundred, you know, mm -hmm. very interesting ones. But will he know which ones are interesting? Well, we'll tell him what we are looking for. I'm, you know, I'm looking for cars from forties and fifties. Yeah. You know, motorcycles, mm -hmm. ladies in fashion. bikinis, fashion. You know. Yes. I don't know, some guy standing on the street smoking a cigar. Sure. I mean, just like Yeah, no, weird, I know. You know? Yeah. All right, I'll look for a... I hope I have one. I know I have in the past, but yeah. I, I often get rid of things, you know. And before I end this video, guys, I just want to say thank you to all my co-hosts from Reseller Raleigh, Chad, Kim, Ronnie, Gretchen, Deb, Joe and Nicole for putting out this unbelievable event that we did. Um, thank you for letting me be, be a host in my own town. It was unreal, uh, but we did it. It was fantastic. And oh my God, all the people that we had a chance to meet and talk and that's what it was all about, you know, networking and sharing the stories and the knowledge. It was unreal. So for those of you guys who didn't have a chance to attend and be part of it, we are definitely planning something for next year. We don't have the details yet, uh, but it was just unreal. I wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart. It was unbelievable. It was absolutely unbelievable. Uh, so many great people. Uh, you really felt like we have such a close community. So, one more time, guys, thank you very much.